As the movie begins, the city is engulfed by a relentless downpour. The opening scenes introduce us to Dahlia, a mother devoted to her five-year-old daughter, Cece. Dahlia's life is in a state of turmoil, marked by the painful process of divorcing her husband and the shadows of a troubled childhood, plagued by an alcoholic mother and an abusive father. These dark memories have left Dahlia grappling with inner demons and a deep-seated depression. In an emotional moment, Dahlia is seen waiting anxiously for her estranged husband, Kyle, while gazing out of the window at the relentless rain. Her anticipation is tangible as she takes her place in the waiting seat upon his arrival. The scene shifts to a tense custody meeting where Dahlia and Kyle, now revealed to be her ex-husband, engage in a heated battle over the custody of their beloved daughter, Cece. Kyle, smug and self-assured, brags about securing an apartment in New Jersey, implying that he is more suited to provide a stable home for Cece. In response, Dahlia confidently asserts her own plans, mentioning her recent discovery of a potential apartment located near a well-regarded kindergarten. The conversation takes a confrontational turn as Kyle questions Dahlia's financial capability to raise Cece. Dahlia retorts, highlighting Kyle's neglectful behavior, including forgetting their daughter's birthday. The exchange escalates into a public quarrel, laying bare the emotional strain and complexity of their relationship. The situation ends with Kyle's departure, leaving Dahlia with a stern reminder to bring legal representation to their next encounter. The judges presiding over the case tentatively rule that Cece should remain with Dahlia while the custody battle continues, underscoring the uncertainty of their situation. Following this tense encounter, Dahlia takes Cece to view the apartment she mentioned during the custody meeting. However, Cece is visibly displeased from the outset, her discomfort evident as she observes the cityscape and remains unchanged upon reaching their destination. Dahlia, ever the comforting mother, attempts to distract her daughter from the less appealing aspects of their surroundings. Upon arrival at the apartment building, they are greeted by the landlord, who welcomes them and provides an overview of the property. He introduces them to Veek, the building's security guard, assuring them of his readiness to assist with any maintenance issues. Despite these reassurances, Cece's discomfort persists particularly evident as she observes the dilapidated and eerie aspects of the building while they ascend to the ninth floor. Once inside the apartment, Cece is drawn to a leaking spot on the ceiling, fixating on it as the landlord shows Dahlia around, highlighting the apartment's features and potential. After completing the tour of the apartment, Dahlia suddenly realizes that Cece is nowhere to be found within the confines of their potential new home. Frantic with concern, she darts downstairs to inquire with Veek, the building's security guard, about her daughter's whereabouts. Despite his assertion of ignorance regarding Cece's location, Dahlia's anxiety is slightly alleviated when another tenant mentions spotting a young girl climbing the stairs. Fueled by a mix of hope and fear, Dahlia races through the building, her voice echoing in the corridors as she calls out for Cece. She ascends to the top floor, her heart pounding with each step, yet finds no trace of her daughter. Driven by a mother's intuition, Dahlia suspects Cece might have ventured to the roof. Her suspicion turns to reality when she finds the roof door unlocked. Stepping onto the rooftop, Dahlia's eyes immediately fall on Cece, who is standing perilously close to the water tower, clutching a kitty bag. Overwhelmed with relief and frustration, Dahlia rushes to her daughter, enfolds her in a protective embrace, and gently scolds her for wandering off without notice. After this harrowing experience, Dahlia and Cece prepare to leave the building. Dahlia, conscientious as ever, decides to entrust the kitty bag to Veek, hoping to find its rightful owner. Despite Cece's reluctance to part with the bag, they proceed. As they pause momentarily at the building's entrance, Cece shares with her mother a surprising revelation. She has taken a liking to the place and wishes to make it their home. Dahlia, who initially had reservations due to the building's shortcomings, finds her decision swayed by her daughter's unexpected fondness for the place. Motivated by Cece's enthusiasm, she promptly approaches the landlord to secure the apartment, ensuring it is not rented to others. Eventually, Dahlia and Cece move into their new home. However, they soon notice that the ceiling leak has worsened, prompting Cece to place a jar underneath to catch the dripping water. That night, mother and daughter share a bed, finding comfort in each other's presence amidst the uncertainty of their new surroundings. 
The following day, after dropping Cece off at her new school and lingering to ensure her daughter's comfort, Dahlia returns home. One of her first actions is to call the landlord about the persistent leak, only to be met with frustration as Veek, dismissive and unhelpful, refuses to address the issue, claiming it's not within his duties as he's not a plumber. Dahlia's day continues with a sense of purpose as she attends a job interview nearby. Her ability to secure employment is a small yet significant victory in the face of the myriad responsibilities awaiting her. Later, when picking up Cece from school, Dahlia engages with her daughter's teachers, eager to learn how Cece is adjusting. The teachers express concern, noting Cece's tendency to play alone, possibly with an imaginary friend, hinting at the emotional impact the divorce might be having on her. Disturbed by this revelation, Dahlia wonders about the depth of her daughter's emotional struggles. On their way home, Dahlia attempts to lighten the mood by playfully inquiring about Cece's new friend, Nobody trying to bring some levity to their challenging situation. At night, Dahlia finds herself tormented by a haunting nightmare, a vivid reenactment of a traumatic episode from her childhood. She dreams of being left alone in the rain by her mother, who abandons her, accompanied by eerie, unsettling voices. This nightmare is so intense that it not only wakes Dahlia from her sleep, but also disturbs Cece, who is sleeping beside her. Struggling to shake off the remnants of the dream, Dahlia spends some time comforting her daughter before they both manage to drift back to sleep, though Dahlia's mind remains troubled by the nightmare. The next morning, adhering to her routine, Dahlia drops Cece off at kindergarten and returns home. Alone, she confronts her reflection in the mirror, overwhelmed by emotions. Tears flow as she reflects on the series of challenges she's facing, feeling as though everything in her life is spiraling out of control. In an effort to find some solace, Dahlia takes a pill and lies down for a brief respite. During her nap, Dahlia is disturbed by the faint whisper of a child's voice pleading for help. Startled and convinced that the voice is emanating from the apartment above, she decides to investigate herself. Given that both Veek and the landlord have been dismissive about addressing the persistent issues in the building, upon reaching the upper floor, Dahlia finds the door eerily ajar. Pushing it open, she is confronted with a scene of chaos. Dark water floods the apartment, indicating long-term neglect. With a sense of determination mixed with trepidation, Dahlia ventures further in, heading towards the bathroom. She discovers that the overflow is due to a running tap and as she reaches to turn it off, she is startled by the sudden appearance of Veek. He explains his presence, stating he has come to repair the ceiling as requested, and shares his suspicions about the absent tenants, who he believes left the tap running unintentionally. Following this unsettling discovery, Dahlia accompanies Veek as he proceeds to repair her apartment's ceiling. In the evening, when Dahlia picks up Cece from kindergarten, she is informed by the teachers that Cece continues to play with her imaginary friend. This revelation weighs on Dahlia as she returns home. After tucking Cece into bed that night, Dahlia is once again unnerved by a mysterious voice. She rushes to Cece's room, only to find her daughter engaged in a serious conversation with an unseen entity. Concerned and confused, Dahlia asks Cece about her conversation partner. When Cece reveals that she is talking to a friend named Natasha, not an imaginary nobody, as Dahlia had previously joked, Dahlia is left speechless and troubled. She quietly exits the room, leaving Cece to sleep, and retreats to her own room, her mind swirling with questions and concerns about her daughter's well-being. In the days that follow, Dahlia is consumed with the task of finding an affordable lawyer to assist in her custody battle. She eventually comes across a kind-hearted man who agrees to help her, offering a glimmer of hope in her challenging situation. However, her sense of unease grows when she goes to pick up Cece from school one afternoon and learns that Kyle, her estranged husband, had visited to check on their daughter. This unexpected news unsettles Dahlia. Upon returning home, they encounter Veek, who arrives to repair the leak in their ceiling. During this visit, Cece inquires about the Hello Kitty bag she had previously found, only to be told by Veek that he has returned it to its rightful owner. This response prompts Cece to bluntly call him a liar, much to Dahlia's embarrassment. 
When questioned by her mother, Cece insists that her imaginary friend Natasha informed her that the bag had no owner, intensifying Dahlia's concerns about Cece's growing attachment to this unseen companion. Cece then unexpectedly reveals a deeply personal secret about Dahlia's past, a secret she had only shared with Kyle. This revelation triggers Dahlia's anger, leading her to confront Cece about how she could possibly know such intimate details. Cece's response, attributing her knowledge to Natasha, fuels Dahlia's suspicions. In a fit of anger, Dahlia contacts Kyle, accusing him of discussing her painful past with Cece in a bid to gain an advantage in their custody dispute. The following morning, Dahlia ventures to the upper floor of the apartment building to do laundry. After encountering some unruly kids, she starts the laundry machine, only to discover it malfunctioning. Her curiosity piqued by something in the adjacent room, Dahlia investigates and is stunned to find the Hello Kitty backpack, reinforcing the truth in Cece's words from the previous day. Confused and troubled, she discards the bag, only to be further frustrated when the laundry machine begins to soil her clothes. Veek arrives to assist, casually dismissing the incident as a common occurrence. Dahlia's frustrations continue to mount when she notices the ceiling leak has returned. In a fit of anger, she confronts Veek, placing the Hello Kitty bag on his counter as a symbol of his dishonesty, and warns him of potential legal action if the repairs are not made. She then advises Cece to stop interacting with Natasha, hoping to sever her daughter's connection with the imaginary friend. Despite Dahlia's warning, Natasha's influence over Cece grows stronger, resulting in a frightening episode at school. Cece, under Natasha's control, experiences a terrifying moment as dark water erupts from the bathroom fixtures, causing her to faint. Unaware of these developments, Dahlia is occupied with a meeting with her lawyer, Jeff. During this time, Kyle steps in, taking Cece to his home for safety. Dahlia receives a call from the school informing her of Cece's emergency and Kyle's intervention. This news plunges Dahlia into a state of despair as she grapples with the realization that her efforts to protect her daughter might not be as effective as she had believed. Dahlia, alone in her bed one evening, is startled awake by the sound of water leaking from the building's water tower. Driven by a sense of dread, she ventures to the rooftop to investigate the source of the leak. There, to her horror, she discovers the body of a young girl, Natasha, inside the water tower. Shocked and distraught, Dahlia immediately contacts the police. During the investigation, it comes to light that Veek, the building's maintenance man, was aware of Natasha's body and had been concealing this gruesome truth. He is subsequently detained for his negligence. Dahlia realizes that Veek's harsh demeanor and his refusal to fix the plumbing issues were linked to this dark secret. Veek reveals that Natasha's parents had bribed him to keep silent about their deliberate abandonment of their daughter, confirming Dahlia and her lawyer Jeff's suspicions about Natasha's tragic fate. Natasha, it turns out, had accidentally drowned in the water tower, leaving behind a vengeful spirit envious of Cece for having a loving mother. In the aftermath, Kyle brings Cece back to Dahlia. They share a brief emotional conversation, and Dahlia agrees to move closer to Kyle to facilitate shared custody of their daughter. The recent traumatic events have softened Kyle's attitude towards the situation. Back at home, as Dahlia hurriedly begins packing their belongings, Cece, with a towel draped over her head, innocently asks her mother to read her a story. Dahlia pauses her packing to fulfill her daughter's request, but she is soon startled by the sound of Cece playing in the bathtub. Upon removing the towel from the girl beside her, Dahlia is met with a chilling revelation. The child is not Cece, but Natasha's ghost. Natasha pleads with Dahlia not to leave and, in a desperate attempt to keep her there, tries to drown Cece in the bathtub. Dahlia, in a bid to save her daughter, promises to be Natasha's mother. Tragically, the apartment is soon overwhelmed by floods, resulting in Dahlia's death. In the wake of this catastrophe, the spirits of Dahlia and Natasha are seen walking together in the hallways of the building. The film concludes three weeks later, focusing on Cece and Kyle. Kyle returns to the old apartment to collect the remainder of Cece's belongings. As they are about to leave in the elevator, the door unexpectedly closes on Cece. Inside, Dahlia's ghost appears to her daughter, reassuring Cece that she will always be with her and tenderly braiding her hair. 
When the elevator door opens, Cece emerges, visibly brighter and more at peace, telling her father they can now move to their new home. The final scene fades with Kyle following his daughter, an emotional end to their turbulent journey. Did this story spook you out? Let us know in the comments below. For more horror movie recaps, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Fear awaits you.